Hi, I'm Paul Dempsey from SKF, and today I'm going to give you a brief demonstration on access to the SKF Rep Center dashboards as part of the SKF Smart Supplier Quick Pro bundles. So on my screen here, I have uh, the SKF Rep Center dashboard, one of them. Uh, but before I um, start showing you this in detail, I think it's important that I show you an SKF Smart Supplier report. So with the Smart Supplier report, uh, as part of the report, we will list for you each machine that's been tested. And each machine is given a condition code, which is a number from one to four, to give you an idea of what is the running condition. Now, if the running condition is one and green, that means that we see no problems with the machine. Uh, two is a minor fault. Uh, three is more serious. And if we have a four, uh, that means that that's a very serious fault that uh, will need action very quickly. Um, so that is the way that we will uh, give you a very quick, easy reference for what is the condition of your machine. Now, with the Rep Center dashboards, what we do is we bring that data uh, into a way that you can assess uh, very easily what is the overall condition of your plant. So in this first dashboard that I'm showing, what we have done is we have broken up your, your plant into the condition codes overall. So from this particular pie, you can see that over 50% of the machines are in good condition. Uh, then about 25% of the machines uh, have a minor problem and we have a small number of machines that have an alert or, or condition code three problem and none of them are condition code four. We also have about 20% of machines that weren't tested during this last survey um, and uh, that will most likely be because they weren't running. Now, what we also do here is we show what was the previous survey result for this. So you can see uh, quite easily here that there's been a slight reduction in the number of machines uh, that are condition code one and a slight increase in the number of machines that are condition code two. So what that says very quickly in a graphical manner is that we've had a small increase in the number of machines that have minor problems on this survey. The next dashboard that I'm going to show you here is where we break these uh, pieces of data up into asset by asset for you. Um, now, what's really nice about this is we break the data up into uh, drive assets, intermediate assets, and driven assets. Um, so um, most times the drive asset is going to be an electric motor. And um, Probably 90% of the time an intermediate asset would be a gearbox and then driven assets will be um, motors, fans, uh, any other uh, assets that are the driven asset. So uh, what that does for uh, the maintenance manager or the reliability manager is it's going to show is there one particular asset which is not being maintained well in the plant. For instance, uh, if there was a large number of problems uh, on the drive assets, um, that could be a pointer that maybe the motors are not being uh, maintained as well as the other assets. Uh, and again, we break that information up into uh, the, the current job versus the previous job. So you can look at, uh, is there any improvements or has it gone backwards? Now, finally, we have uh, this dashboard, which is the failure cause statistics. Uh, now, this can be a very useful piece of information um, in identifying do you have common causes of problems within your plant. At the top here, we have two graphs. Uh, one is uh, failure causes by events, and the other one is failure caused by consequence. Now, the difference between these two is the failure caused by events is what is the actual defect or problem that we found. So you can see here the most common in this plant is looseness followed by bearing 
defect followed by misalignment and lubrication fault. Uh, however, uh, consequence is what is the root cause of these problems. Uh, you can see here that the most common root cause of a problem is misalignment, um, followed by lubrication problems, uh, looseness, then flow turbulence. Uh, now, again, uh, we break these up by asset to drive intermediate and uh, driven. Um, so you can see here that uh, with drive assets, uh, the majority of problems detected are misalignment and looseness. Uh, and this, again, can be a very uh, useful tool for identifying what things perhaps need to be improved in maintenance practices on site. Uh, similarly for intermediate, uh, we can see here that there's a large percentage of bearing defects on intermediate. Perhaps this is a, a pointer that uh, there are lots of bearing defects occurring on gearboxes, uh, which could lead to an investigation on, on why. Uh, so uh, thank you, uh, and I hope that you find uh, the uh, Rep Centre dashboards uh, very useful in measuring the condition of your whole plant, and most importantly, perhaps measuring the improvement in the condition of your plant over time while you are subscribed to the SK of Smart Supplier Program. Thank you again.